this man, Mike from around the world. Pastor Paul, God bless you. How do how do I sound? You sound great. You're coming in wall Good. to wall and treetop awesome. tall. Oh man. Awesome. Amen. How are you doing tonight, Mike? Well, well, it's a busy night. Gonna be a busy uh gonna be busy, Pastor Paul. Very busy. I'm putting on my foil tin hat, if that's all right, because I'm in San Diego. Mike, did you say that San Diego will eventually tip forty five degrees? Uh, uh, am yes. I I, am I okay tonight, or am I? Yeah, you're good. You're I'm good. good. I'm good tonight. I, I, okay. I'm, yeah, you're okay. Prayer, prayer still works. Oh, thank still you. Still works. Thank you. Amen. So, Mike, uh, great to have you tonight. Can't wait till tomorrow night. You know, you're going to be part of that panel of our webinar, and and of, you've already re we've already recorded two of your uh, presentations, which is just mind blowing. People are really going to learn a lot, aren't they? Yeah, I hope so. I hope they can. I hope they use it. I hope they really use it because these are uh, these times we're in. They are very different. So, Mike, today NASA announces that we maybe we, we, it's very possible that we could have an internet apocalypse where literally we could lose the internet for months. Now, NASA is not just, I mean, look, they're not just blowing smoke. You just don't make announcements like that. You just can't come out and make an announcement. Do you realize, Mike, I know you realize, if you lose the Internet for months, what, what does that do to the world? I mean, what does that do? Well, that's, that's a shutdown, really. That's the undoing of an entire nation. So, uh, you know, for NASA to make that, and of course, NASA, is is part of that uh, multi-industrial complex uh, that you know basically operates on its own uh, people found that out despite the funding of uh 2019 or, or 2019 and 20 despite the funding nasa carried on um but they are the ones who had that deep sea program that's how they began with that deep sea program then abruptly they they stopped that program and they went straight to space. They said, we got to get off Earth quick. Wow. So are they giving us a little bit of a heads up, Mike? That the yeah, sun... you know what, Pass Paul? Yeah. They, uh, have you noticed that before major events happen, normally about seven years before they take place, right? A seven is going to be mentioned there somewhere. Okay. Uh, they always seem to talk about these major things, right? Um, every, every single event, of course, that would take that as a presentation all by itself, but the, in every single event, they use symbology, they talk about things. And then all of a sudden something happens. And you know, these folks and hey, you got to remember these guys are witches and warlocks. So what? they believe, they believe in their own crap, right? Which wait, they you believe just in said, their own crap. Mike, you just said NASA, these guys are witches and warlocks. Uh, yeah, they, you're not going to make money. You're not going to have a secure job and make all that money, right? Serving Christ. That's not going to happen. Uh, not in these kingdoms. So they, they have job security because of what they have in those towards, right? Uh, you're, in, in fact, in fact, you can see them all. They do the exact same gestures on given days. They do this. All you have to do is wash them. No normal person makes those uh, gestures on certain days, right? They'll do it every single time. There are five different gestures they'll use in public. They show it to the public. The public sees it. It's very important that the public sees it. And that's part of their Masonic thing that they do, right? Because most of them are Masons. They are. And they know it. And they don't try to hide it these days. That's why I'm, you know, kind of free talking about it. Yeah. But uh, they do things like that. And the reason why is because now these are the same guys that believe in, uh, uh, you know, the lineage of Nimrod, all these different things they believe in. And so they will announce what they are going to do. Right. Mm -hmm. You know why they do that though? No. Why? They, they announce what they're going to do. Right. And if a person of faith does nothing, then they have given their permission. That's why they. Wow. So. They, th so you're saying this this proclamation of an internet apocalypse is really like a seven year heads heads up, and is it based on the sun, Mike, or Planet X, Nibiru? Is is that what, or is there some other plan 
in, in, in basketball, they have, they have vast knowledge of, uh, you got to remember these guys, they dug up. Uh, okay. Uh, there's some, uh, through this disclosure process, right? Okay. They have already disclosed that in 1965, uh, right? Uh, going up to the seventies and eighties, the CIA proved demons are real, right? Yeah. So all that research is done. They proved, um, you know how a lot of people talk about MK ultra, right? But do they know about, most people know about remote viewing and those things, right? But do they know about the, um, these mental meeting places that these guys have, they can induce a state, a, a heavy REM sleep state on anybody through, uh, lights and two different frequencies in both ears, right? They do this with teams of people and believe it or not, believe it or not, they can go to sleep or they'll go to sleep within about a minute. And these guys will meet up in a place, some sort of a mental place, um, that they create themselves, right? They'll meet up, talk about things and come back to wherever they are. They do this all over the world and, uh, they make things happen. You remember when Jimmy Carter, when he couldn't find that plane, a yes. plane went down yeah. and he hired a psychic. You remember that? Yeah. Well, that happened. Remember the guy who was healing people and the CIA investigated this guy for a year. Remember that? Yeah. He was healing. He had power to heal. Um, there was a little girl that could spontaneously cause plants to bloom, right? And they investigated her. All these documents are right there on the, you know, they're right there on the archives now. They have been released. People can see them. They're, they're, they have uh, proven uh, findings behind this, right? All these things have been quantified. So they already know they exist. So that these guys, Sir Baphomet and, and, and uh, uh, Moloch, like all those kids that went missing at that theme park in yeah. Mexico, yeah, right? Yeah. And isn't it funny how that statue of Moloch is inside that place? Anyway, I'm not going to get myself in trouble, yeah. but you know, I'm just saying that these guys, right? These guys are, they're really coming out and they don't care. Uh, for example, you know, a lot of people probably understand that a lot of actors, they lose a child. They always end up with a child missing mm. uh, musical artists and actors and yeah. actresses. They end up with a child missing. Not anymore. Not anymore. They have a saying now. They would rather have a daughter than to lose a son. And what they're talking about is transgender, right? They're, they're kids. Now they don't, they don't lose their kids. Now the kids just don't, you know, die. Oh, I see. Not, not now they become trans. The, yeah, that's part of this, uh, uh, part of this, um, uh, price to pay, uh, Odo Secorum, this, this world order. Yep. So it's, it's part of the price you have to pay to, to yeah, be is. a participant at this global elite level. It is. There's a and, and with Christians, right. And with Christians, and it's very real too, but with Christians, they can't do that stuff unless Christians allow them to do it. And how they get a Christian to allow them to do it is a Christian will ignore, turn their back on, never intercede by prayer with these things happening. So every time they announce something, right? It's just, if you saw, if a person saw a fight and two people were fighting, and a Christian turned their back and walked away. They didn't even pray for it. They are giving their permission here on earth for that. To, anything we turn our backs on, we're giving permission for that to happen. Yeah. God never intended us to stand. He gave us the power of prayer. It, the Amen. prayer is a weapon Satan has no defense against. But unfortunately, there's been an assault on prayer yeah. with Christ, with that word Jesus, right? And so you can't use that word Jesus. Um, you just can't use that word. And, and then people are not believing in prayer because Satan has everybody tied up in these illusionary, the, these old delusionary, you know, situations at home. People actually believe they can't be free and they rehearse that on a daily basis. Oh, I'll never do this. And I can't do this. And they're commanding themselves. You know, when you, when a person sits there and they say, I can't, they're confirming what Satan has done. But they're coming into agreement with negative forces against them, right? They don't have to, it, it's the, all they have to do is not confirm that darkness. So they show this stuff past Paul and watch and see, you watch and see what happens because just in case nobody knows at the beginning of the year, they used the term black swan. Okay. 
okay. over and over again. Now we're talking about, we're talking about the highest of the highest people. We're using this. The president of the United States used it. He said, we're going to have a black swan event. Mm. And that's a, and, and, um, uh, all your folks at Pfizer, they said, we're going to have a black swan event. What is that? Um, what is a black all swan? All these people were talking about a, a black swan event is like COVID-19, right? Okay. But it's different. It's like, a, it, it's like a, a virus will break out or something like that. Some type of sickness or plague will hit the populace. But a black swan event would be a plague hits the populace after they have been disarmed. So in other words, we're going to have a condition that will weaken us. And okay. Then a plague or a series of plagues will break. Now they promised we're going to have a black swan event. So, right? so, they said, so we're they're, gonna, they're giving we're, us a heads 100% up. 100% going to have it. Yeah. They're, so they're prophesying. To be, it's their way of prophesying. Yes, they're, they are. Because they know they're planning it. So you're saying this is going to be a pandemic, uh, uh, a black swan event. It's going to be insult to injury. It's going to pile on. They're going to pile on. Is this part of how they take control out of chaos? Well, they, I hate to say this, Pashball, but they've already done it, right? I want you to think about something. The mindset that people have now, honestly, they feel they can't do anything. They, that's, they, true. that's what they feel. They can't do anything. I mean, you have people with that mindset, especially those who believe in Christ. Those of you who believe in Christ, they, they don't let them get you like this because they will dethrone you from what God has empowered you to do. And if you agree with them, you're not going to do anything. See, what they do is they, all this stuff you see out there where people are arguing and doing all this stuff, so long as a Christian is debating, they're not praying. No, they're just true. not praying, right? And so that's what, that's become the norm. People are not praying. They are debating. So is that what, what they're these, doing? Like, let's say even in our chat room, okay, here tonight, we got 7,000 people watching right now. Thousands more will watch this in the next 24 hours. But right in the chat room, do we get sometimes bots that come in uh, literally and, and, and stir up the change and make people debate and try to break down the unity? You get that. You get people. You get people. People will come in too. They have a lot of active people out there. Fastball, you, you'd be shocked how many people are willing to go into a Christian forum and just wreak havoc. Wow. You'd be shocked. There, there are people who have jobs to do that, right? Right. If, if a person paid somebody $10,000 to come into your chat room once, twice, three times a week to wreak havoc, right? Who wouldn't do that? What, what person without morals right. wouldn't hop in there and do that? And all they have to do I saw it last week. Somebody in there last week said, how come nobody believes in the rapture? Why are all these ministers against the, they were trying to start something. Yeah. Start a conversation that had nothing to do with anything else. Right. But nobody took the bait. They did it for maybe 10, 20 minutes and left. Right. Um, so you have things like that that yep. happen. Yeah. So all the so, time. So it's, it's part of the di uh, diversion tactic. It's to bring, you know, sure di divide and conquer, sure create. And it's working. It's working. It's working. Yeah. I, and the reason I say that basketball is because, uh, oh my goodness. Let, let me, let me, let me say something I never said before. Do you not know that if anybody, if anybody, here's how you can tell if somebody has ever gone to an underground base, you have to sign some forms and on that form, it explicitly states you cannot use the name of Jesus. To go to an underground base That's right. to get cannot, access to what goes on underground, you cannot speak the name of Jesus. No, you cannot. If, if you have to go to an underground base, if you're a guest, if you're a visitor, if you are whatever you're doing it there, you have to sign forms. You cannot use the name of Jesus. And anybody who goes to an underground base, right, they know what they have seen. They know exactly what they have seen. There is no way anybody who works at an underground base is going to come topside and, and just, uh, you know, they have seen some things. So what if you right? work at I'm, I'm talking about biblical things. They have seen some things. Are you talking like uh, a Nephilim? Uh... Nephilim. Nephilim. Okay. Is that clear? Clear Nephilim? They'll tell you that, um, listen, they'll tell people. They'll tell them they're Nephilim. And we're not talking about the short uh, variety either. We're talking about the big That's boys. That's not what we're talking about. Yeah, we're not talking about some... The basketball player height. That's not what we're talking what? about. What? We're talking about big Nephilim. Are you right? serious, Mike? That are I mean, just are like, you serious? Just like people 
they're working with, they're doing stuff down there. But do you know why? Do you know why, why they're doing why? it? Why? Because these guys know a clock is ticking. You heard me talk about that clock and a door opening. Yes. They're going to wage war, not against human beings. Against over God? and over again in the Bible. Against Jesus? Against the angels? Over, uh, over and over again in the Bible, we hear that the Lord is coming with 10,000 of his angels. Right, right. right. They know that event is real, right? And people are about to find out that uh, they should have believed those things are real because we live in a time where people, they, listen, there's a thousand percent chance that everybody, most people alive today are going to have to deal with that stuff. Yeah. Because where, if they're here tonight, right now, right? Something is happening in China right now and people are alive right now. So they're already on the same, you know, world as, and we're not talking about in China underground either. We're talking about topside. Okay. So something is, things are taking place. Too many things are taking place. Now, Mike, you know, you were the one back in uh, the fall of 2019. You told us, I'll never forget this night when you said, oh, by the way, come March, millions of people will be dead in China. I mean, you just come out with this. I mean, it was like November of 2019. I'm like, what? Are you serious? I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you saying, Mike, there's something going on right now in China that we don't know? That's What's happening? Something? It is something not good is happening right now in China. Is it going to affect right us? Is it going to affect the world? It will affect everybody. It will affect everybody. Everybody. Everybody alive right now will, will be affected by this. It'll affect everybody. How soon? See, th this, this is, this is, uh, what this season we've come into is a, is a very serious season. It really is a very serious season and things are going to begin to happen on the, on that supernatural scale. We're not talking about ghosts and things like that. Nope. We're talking about flesh and blood things, Okay. flesh and blood things. And, and, and people are going to have to deal with that. We're talking about real consequences. We're not talking about, in, when we talk about plagues, we're not talking about COVID-19, not talking. some engineered plague. We're talking about real plagues that will, uh, that'll do, you know, there's a plague right now that four warnings went out to all hospitals concerning, uh, this plague to watch. And now it's not spread yet, but it will. And it's very close to Ebola and it's, uh, it's starting to break loose from its initial barriers We're, you're looking at something that will kill somebody in about three to five days right in a what? very bad way it's, wait, is this a pathogen of for. some sort some kind of blood pathogen yeah and they it's it's, it's almost non-containable because they tried you know listen we live in a world where there's some bad actors uh bad people bad officials bad this that, and the other when you have this uh place like this and when they start making these public declarations right um things are going to take place so mike are you they uh, plus plus they have a deadline you know they kept mentioning a deadline last year uh i didn't want to mention it okay but i'm going to do it now because i suspect people are going to talk about it but their deadline was the beginning of 2024 okay and it has sense. something to do with taking the population uh to a specific uh, numerical value by 2024. Okay, now this is 2023. This is June. Yes. We're six months out. So right. you're saying they they have is this a self-imposed deadline? This is a deadline they have, and when they set deadlines like this, uh, normally they have. So you know, normally they do have. So Mike, uh, uh, and I don't know how far you can go with this, but something's taking place in China. There's uh, something, it sounds like something's getting ready to be released upon the populace, upon mankind. They need to, uh, population, depopulization is also one of the agendas of the United Nations. Um, you know, Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, it's part of it. Did uh, you know that Agenda 21 is specifically for Christians? No. It is. So depopulation, Christian. one of the depopulation agendas of the earth is depopulating the earth from, of Christians. Yeah, that does not apply to any other faith out there. That applies to Christians. You know, they're deadly serious about getting Christians out of the way. Christians, the reason why things have not gone overboard thus far 
just because Christians are in the way. Simply by believing in Christ, you evoke the authority of Christ within Amen. yourself. Amen. Right? Yep. Um, it's kind of like that movie that's coming that was out in theaters. It, it was a what was that movie? Oh, they the, didn't announce it or anything else, but it was a, it was preachers on there rebuking devils. But oh, yeah, here's what yeah, happened: the people yeah. in the theaters began to respond to the movie. Yeah, people possessed people that didn't know that was you know that was like that. They would actually respond in the movie. One guy knew his wife. He he was with his wife for about thirty eight years, and his wife stood up and said, "No, I, you know I controlled her. That she's mine. This, that, and the other." What? And he couldn't believe it. He could not believe it. He had no idea. And they go to church. So, so, so this movie, and I'm trying to remember what it's called. Come out. Is it come out? In the... yeah, something like that. And yeah. It has that come out. Same. Okay. And but, it was um, kind of, yeah. And, and so you're saying, so people went to see the movie. They were in theaters. And uh, these guys are basically casting out demons. And yeah. while they're doing this uh, on screen, people was in the audience, the audience started yes. affecting people. Wow. Yep. Yeah, okay. Sure okay. And it stirs it sure stuff did. up, too. I mean. Uh, when the yeah, devil yeah. sees yeah, this, yeah. he act he he acts out. I mean, he manifests yeah, and yeah. he acts out. And is that part of why we see, for instance, this priest? I uh, was just reporting tonight in Mexico. He he saved three kids from uh, the El Chapo uh, drug cartel. That not only yeah. not, they don't they don't just push drugs, but they you know they human trafficking, sex trafficking, every kind of trafficking they can. Right. And because this priest rescued three kids. Uh, they found him uh, yesterday in his parish, uh, beheaded inside, and on the outside, the church had been hit with 750 bullet holes. I saw the picture; uh -huh. it's incredible. I mean, are we are we dealing with something so diabolical going loose now sure on the earth? Sure it, is. sure it is, and nobody should be discouraged by that because I'll tell you something. I looked at that report, right? Okay. The priest. Before the before they shot up that church, that priest was beheaded. So what that means is that priest felt nothing. That's right? right. Sometimes sometimes we perceive things on the outside as this terrible thing, and and Christians they don't have to see it. But but folks like me know that a lot of Christians are frightened of pain. They're yeah. frightened of those yeah. situations that could cause. God is merciful always, and the pain that we've gone through through our lives. These are learning lessons. It increases our compassion value. If we don't go through pain, we'll not have compassion upon somebody else. No, that's pain. true. So everything we've gone through is purpose. In these cases, though, that people are about to see, they're going to multiply. Uh, God is merciful, right? It's kind of like when ISIS decapitated or killed those children. Do you know those children, to their last breath, had a smile on their face? Wow. Right? So the Lord works. He, he works things. Yeah. And how can an apostle in the middle of a crucifixion say, guys, stop, hold up, invert me. Turn right? me don't, upside don't, down. Don't. Yeah. yeah. You don't do that when you're set on fire, you're no, pierced and all these no. things. And you just stop everybody. So, so that means the Lord, so the Lord can nullify the Lord, Satan's effects. Yeah. You're saying that God shows up at this time of most gruesome yes, he does. and relieves yes, he the does. pain and helps yes, carry he the saint. Carry us believers to the other side, relieves us yes, from this cr cruelty. I, I believe that. I believe that. I mean, I believe that's the I love of it. God, the mercy of God. Yes, it is. Pastor, I didn't deserve his love when I was, you know, first doing my thing in the world, but I'm telling you right now, I could see myself suffering and I didn't suffer at all. Yeah. So, how about that? And it, I didn't deserve it. Yep. Right? I didn't right. deserve it. So, God is merciful. He's not some, he's not this dictator that Satan would have people believe that's not what god is and anyway yeah so that situation we'll see a lot more of those right this this issue with the pope with the vatican yeah right there's an there's yeah. something building there that means something okay because he is, had to have surgery okay that's very uh, i'll tell you right now it, in my opinion yeah that is very dark that's unnatural that's not natural that's very dark his sickness there's, isn't natural. There are circumstances surrounding that, right? There are okay. circumstances surrounding that. That is very dark. There are countries after Israel. The key to, rem to the key to the beast kingdom is to suppress and defile Israel. Yeah. Their hearts are set on it. And I hate to tell everybody, but every kingdom on this earth is in on it. Mm. 
every mm. single kingdom on this earth is in on it, right? That's why, that's why I never, I, I can never ever put my trust in mankind because I know a lot of crooked high folks. And, but you can't really tell people out there in the public, this guy's crooked, this guy is not, because you get into these conversations of who has the most evidence. Yeah. So that does no good. But people are about to see it themselves. Are you saying, uh, so it sounds like you're saying that the whole world is starting to hate Israel, that there's more and more and more this, because, you know, Psalms 83 says that there's this confederacy, this, uh, this uh, group who begin to say, away with Israel, wipe, or wipe this nation off the face of the earth, never to be remembered again. Anti-Semitism seems to be on the rise. Is that because this is God's chosen people, this is God's holy land, Christ is returning to it, and That's right. the devil knows That's time the, is running That's out? Right. That's who the war is against. Everything happening in the world, right, is, is Satan's attempt to corrupt Christians. It does no good to kill a Christian. Right, because they'll go to be with the Father. That's no, right. He That's wants, right. He wants a Christian to turn against the living God. He wants to defile a Christian, to make a Christian believe that their faith is nothing. It can't do anything, and so he works very hard at doing this. Right? He will, he he has already manifested himself to the world, right, with all these things that they do in the world. But Christians, they're the objective here. So he wants to kind of torment them. Now it's up to a Christian to accept that torment or not. I do not agree with anything Satan is doing. And so I will not undergo his conditions. My life is a bit different than when, when people start doing that, they'll find out they've been given, they have a God given authority that nothing can go against. And if they haven't figured this out yet, Paul, nothing can touch Amen. a human being except another human being. Amen. And the Lord gave us a strategy to deal with our brother, right? He did. Yeah. So, yeah, we have things forming, and I'm telling you, they're going forward with. Everything. Now, it's King Charles. King Charles is in. Is is now? You know, he's he's on the throne. He's on the throne, and he's he's already made Israel one of his priorities. And and when I mean by that, I mean dividing it, uh, creating defiling. a two state, defiling it, dividing he's it. Defiling yeah. So it how do you so. feel? I mean, is is he is is there is he kick things into motion uh, now that he's on the throne? Yeah, everything is going into motion. In fact, have you noticed that uh, um, when Trump was out of office, and here's why, it's, it's natural that Republicans defend Israel, right? They defend Israel. That's, that's part of their, that's what they do. But when Trump was out of office, uh, everybody in the Middle East made their move. There was also a plan, right? Kirby knows about the plan. You know, the Kirby on yeah, television Kirby. that talks. They told everybody, don't talk about this to the press room. Yeah. 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 They're, they need, they're going to start talking about that because. I mean, that, he's that the, was a call for help is what that was. He's, that, a, because, he's the press. Uh, he's the press spokesman for the Pentagon. Yeah. And don't think those people that work for the press are doing that for the good of the people. Right. They're following an agenda. That's why they get big paychecks. Right. They're not going to get the big paychecks for telling the news. They're going to get the big paychecks for following an agenda. Yeah. And right now in 2023, everything is based on an agenda. And, and, and according to them, nothing will stop them. And they're, it, they're coming out with it. So they're going to try and tie everybody up with this situation, right? The internet, for example, if the internet goes down, now we naturally know that there are alternatives to the internet. We know that iPhones and MacBooks and some of these new Windows computers are set up with radio chips in them, right? Ah. Your iPhone can pick up every radio station in the world. It's what? just that the chip is not activated. Every Android phone can pick up every radio station in the world. It's just that the chip is not activated. If you're a programmer, right, and you know how to, um, you know, machine language, I'll put it that way, you, you can unlock that chip. Right. You can you can auto tune that chip. You can do lots of things with these phones, but they already know this. So the Internet is going to stay operational. I'll tell you why. You know, they buried the lines to the Internet. So how in the world is the Internet going to stop when the Internet runs underground, not above ground? It doesn't matter if we have an EMP. The Internet can't be touched by an EMP. So are they the lying? Internet can't be touched by a solar flare. 
Okay, so the soda, <laughs> fl- so, but you know, because Elon Musk tweeted this afternoon, guys, you might want to get Starlink if this thing's going to happen, if the internet's going to come. I mean, is he just messing with people? I mean, what's well, going on? I'd like everybody to, there, there's an image of Elon Musk with a golden jacket on. And on the back of that golden jacket, it says, it is, um, on the back of his jacket is Odo Securum. Okay. And then he has another picture with the same thing on. And what, what he's, what that is, is part of the new world. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. So, so there we are. You, you have front men that he's trying to do his thing for the sake of the people here. There's an ideology out there that you cannot help the people from the outside, right? You just can't. If you try that, you're going to be stopped in your tracks. So what they do is they get on the inside at possibly a lower level, right? And, and be very, that's why he's so nervous in how he speaks. He's very careful in how he speaks. He does not want to ruffle feathers, but he needs to go forward with his agenda. So Starlink is that backup attempt for the people. What he does not know is, you know, no matter how much he tries, if it's not done within truth and by the blood of the lamb, it's going to be for the beast it's kingdom. Fail. Yeah, it's going to well, be, be for the beast kingdom. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that, that's the only problem with that. So, so he's trying to get on the inside. Pawn. So you're saying he's actually being used. He's like a been pawn. a pawn. Yeah. He's been a pawn. And if he ever denies them, Elon Musk will become a no one overnight. Wow. Money can't save. They already know that money cannot save you. Right. Right. From, from them dethroning. They will dethrone you in a heartbeat. Money yeah. can't save you from that uh, because they control that money now my, but we have we have enough we have that situation uh that's a call a surface situation hash ball there there are there are some real spiritual consequences on the way all right now mike uh, just shift gears a little bit here this yes, can this canada wildfires 400 wildfires now there's a guy on the internet he's he's, he's got he's, he's done a great job his name's dutch sense and he was following these wildfires from Google Maps, uh, Google Earth. And I, I saw it. It, it. And as he zeroed in, and he went back and looked at some of these. And all of a sudden, there's a moment when about 17 wildfires start simultaneously. The smoke comes out of them all at the same moment. And they're like 50 to 60 miles apart. You have to understand, these are 17 right. separate fires. How right. in the world... Uh, I mean, uh, is, is there, is magma rising in Canada or is there a, some kind of weapon space laser that can create this or, or is there terrorists running around starting them all with the stopwatch at the same time? <laughs> can you tell me what's happening? Well, you have to have two things in mind. Well, three things in mind. Number one, Canada, uh, back 2015, they started having issues with fires because of the drought, right? Okay, that drought yes. continued. Uh, even back as far as 1910, when the fire records uh, started for Canada, okay, uh, they had some bad fires out there. Um, all the way up through July uh, 20, 2022, when they had that air quality alert, when the fires were enough to cause that air quality alert, right? Yep. And then you go into October, um, the extreme drought of 2022 in October for them, they were in extreme conditions for drought. Now we had a lot of rain. They had a lot of moisture, a lot of snow and this and the other, but the problem is the properties of the sun are changing, right? We have magma underneath the ground. So you have those sporadic fires, you have lightning coming down, things are drier. And so you're going to have more discharges, more potential, right? Uh, right. For plasma discharges in the atmosphere. Okay. Okay. That's, that's one. That's, that's one. one. Okay. That's one. So now, and, and with that same condition right now, instead of a storm covering, you know, couples, a uh, city or two, right? We have storms that cover six or seven states. I don't know if anybody noticed in the last three days, we had a single system. They, they're trying to break it up and make it seem like it was multiple systems. It was not. It was a single system over the USA. It was a stubborn high pressure system followed by sporadic low forming pressures in the, in the lower southern regions, which is why storms were going up in the wrong direction, right? We had a stubborn high. That high spanned from the USA to Canada, right? Okay. Right, right. Now, okay. it just stayed there. Uh, so because these areas are larger, past all, you have larger areas of dryness. 
So if you have that area of dryness and you have static discharge, instead of a fire starting in one small area that's affected by that dryness, because that area is larger, you're going to have many more fires. Today, 23 more fires began. In, in Canada. Canada. 23 yes. new fires in 23 Canada today. 23 new fires today. today in Canada. Yeah, just today. So they're, they're, they're really fighting. But this is coming to us. You see it trickling down straight well, to us. Look right? at the smoke. Straight to the USA. I mean, the smoke alone is choking the Northeast. It's not even healthy to walk outside. It's, uh, it's, it's those, devastating. That's right. And those dry conditions are coming here, meaning that we're about to be the epicenter of smoke, right? Now, in Mexico, they already have smoke uh, because of bulkness and because of fires down there. So what will happen eventually? of uh, this year, because, you know, we talked about that on your show. We're going to have people have to get ready for these fires. They're going to be from Canada all the way down to the USA, yes. going into you Mexico, going down South America. You and so that's going to be a constant we're going to have to deal with. Is that part of the ash environment that we're going to have to deal well, with? Well, that's, that's one condition. These okay. are environmental conditions, okay. right? The okay. second condition is this. We have very unstable conditions in the atmosphere. And everybody... It's about to find that out. Okay, talk to us uh, now. Everybody will find that Are out. Are talking the meteorites? So, what, well, we're talking, talking about the not only those, but we have now when we have these, like, uh, for example, tonight, right? We're going to have a couple close calls tonight. Skims off the, we're not talking about things part of the meteor shower, but things that will actually penetrate our atmosphere. But when they do this, Pastor Paul, sprites start to form. Okay. Because of the dryness and friction. And some of the forces, some of these uh, opposing forces that take effect. We also have high, do high, high areas of radiation right. in the atmosphere, more now than ever. Okay. So you have that to contend with. And when those sprites form, they cause almost like an upside down umbrella underneath, right? Where sparks can shoot down to any dry spot and cause an issue. Plus, there are thin places in Canada and in the USA where magma is moving. If magma moves and another... Uh, electromotive force is introduced above it, you're going to have a static discharge and you have fire, instant fire. Right? Wow. So, so, so it's a combination. It, it's the radiation go. coming down and the forces of, of things that are scraping by and the magma that's rising. Is that part of a gravitational? I mean, no, it's not gravitation. It's magma rising, just magma just burning and burning and rising. Magma is magma's increasing. Because we're getting overcharged by okay, the sun. Okay, okay. Right? There, there, there was a time when we were not overcharged by the sun. And so magma, as it came close to the surface, it would solidify. When you get overcharged, the temperature goes up and it expands. So now magma is liquid hmm. at higher and higher levels. And it's going to continue to do this until it breaches the ground in many areas of the earth. Well, they see this already. They and see it, it already. That causes certain, fires. That causes volcano eruptions. That's going to cause some bad. Imagine, imagine a Chicago, right? Okay. Imagine you turn on the news and the, and the Great Lakes are missing. They're steaming wow. like real bad, right? Oh, do and then, but, but then all of a sudden you notice that a quarter of the city of Chicago has sunk into some molten, you know, stuff and tar and all that nasty stuff. Uh, we're going to begin to see stuff like that. Now, this is a natural process of the earth. The problem is we have built places all over the earth, right? Yeah, the yeah, earth always true. does this. The earth always does that okay, geological okay. thing. But we have not always had buildings there. And if you notice back in time, when you look at these historical structures, all you find is stone. But they know for a fact that wood and steel was intermingled in that stone. There's an entire, well, I can't go into the history yet because they erased an entire culture of history. And that was much like the USA that they find in archaeology, but they, they don't want that in books. There's, there's even a, uh, there's a document in the White House about that culture that shouldn't be in the books. And the reason why is because when they find things of this culture, it's so similar to ours, it can spook people. And if they, if people found out that a cyclical event was coming, right, that naturally comes like a normal season, that would scare them. Now you put that on top of prophecy coming to pass because right. we're in a final right. season, right? So in effect, we're, we're about to go through about four or five 
different types of seasons. They just happen to happen all at one time. Well, we have right? the earth, the earth that you've talked about. The earth has stopped spinning in the core of the earth. Uh, you've talked about that the earth is wobbling, okay, on its axis, that, that the earth is uh, encountering a massive amounts of radiation, uh, cosmic rays, that it's not, which, is, yes. which is affecting, of course, the inner core and affecting the magma yes. that rise. So the Bible did say in Isaiah 24 that this would happen. Jesus yeah. told us, hey, there's going to be signs in the sun, the moon, the stars, you know, all this stuff is going to happen, but the earth is going to literally get in trouble. So have we entered into a, have we entered into a, a season or a phase of the process of, yes, the, of, the, of the end of what we know? Yes, we have. Time? Yes, we have. We have. How much time do we have? Mike? Not too much. It's, it escalates every single day. Oh, oh, people oh. are going to notice. People are going to, well, they've already escalated. The problem is uh, we have short memories. We just have short memories. Um, the beginning of the uh, last year, when okay. COVID-19 hit, there, were, there was people were actually collecting data on what was happening with the earth, and they were starting to find some things, and all of a sudden COVID-19 bro breaks out. Nobody can get together in the labs, and all research stopped, right? All of a sudden, they come out with this disclosure stuff. Well, you know why they came out with this disclosure stuff, don't you? Because no. they've caused people, they purposely caused people to distrust the government. Nobody trusts the government. So <laughs> no. when they release, when they release information like they're going to do in June and July, right? When they release information, I'm telling you now, people are going to take a look. They're going to see their proof, the evidence and everything else. And it will not move people the way most people think, because it's going to go through one ear and out of the other. People will have knowledge of it, but then they're going to come to the conclusion, hey, this isn't putting food on my table. Let me get back to work. You know, that's fine. So they're real. Now what? That's what they'll say. All right. Let's talk right. about they're real because in Las Vegas, uh, we have a 911 call. People started calling. They're seeing aliens in their backyard. Okay. I've seen the videotape. And this green, whatever it was, is on. I mean, the cops show up. They got their, got their body arm or their body cameras on. All of a sudden, they see it too. I mean, they're pointing at it. Mike, is right. this part of the disclosure that you're talking Sure it about? is. Sure it is. Don't think for a moment that these, um, these fallen ones, right, the Nephilim, the children of the fallen, will not work with what these guys are. These guys are, are they're getting directives, Pastor Paul. It, it kind of works like this. Satan makes a decree to those he can control, right? Right. Then right. The, his agents begin to carry things out by way of influence to humanity. Humanity has been, lots of humanity has been altered. Well, most of humanity has been they're under different conditions. Let's put it that way. They're probably stage or I'm sorry, Mark three. They're going to be referred to as the, the Mark threes or the third model in, in uh, what they're making. But anyway, they are emotionally dead, right? They're, they're kind of dead emotionally. So they okay. don't care, but they can give these directives and just like the CIA actively recruits, uh, People who are inclined to be sociopaths, they really do search <laughs> for people like that. They do. No, that, they, they do. That's in the manual. Wait, wait, That's no. part of the recruitment. It's in the manual. The, 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 the government is searching for sociopaths. That's for the, that's for the CIA. They, they actively <laughs> search for people like that. You know, they don't I'm want a person. It. They don't want Jack the Ripper. They want people who are inclined, who are highly inclined to be Jack the Ripper. They want them on the force. Is that so they, they can them trigger the them? That they can train them and trigger them when they need to? Well, to... no, that's because the CIA does things that a lot of people don't know about. Like, normally people will see uh, some combat operations right. in the Ukraine, for example. Okay. They'll never know it's the CIA, right? No. Sometimes the CIA is deployed to live in villages, to be part of the people for about five to six years before combat ever breaks out. And by that time, they have planned and helped and staged the entire demise of an entire people, right? Sometimes they operate to stage things so that uh, the USA gets mad. We start fighting against ourselves, you know, just like the Mossad, just like all these other um, uh, negative op agents in other militaries that they have out there. But, you know, they do all sorts of things. But that's how they recruit. Satan works. You know, all that comes from him. These are his tactics. So they he will get those folks who are full of negativity absent Christ, right? So when he has these directives, he can easily 
you know, influence them to go carry out things that the average moral person couldn't do. So they say, no, I'm not doing this. This is not right. So the CIA literally studies individuals and figure out who's possibly a little bit uh, sociopathic, you know, but they, well, they, they have got not you. much of a comp. Yeah. They don't have much of a conscience. Yeah. We could pretty well get them to do certain things that normal that the rest of the populace wouldn't do. The moral standards. These guys don't have a whole lot of uh, a filter because they they always match your profile. You know they have they have collected the DNA of everybody, just about. Well, they yeah they have the DNA of everybody in Utah Ancestry dot com. They work directly with the DOD, right? They have collected the DNA that most people wouldn't give up because everybody wanted to search their lineage. And they, you know, as part of their disclosure, uh, you own your DNA only so long as you live. Anybody okay. who gets there, anybody who gets that has already agreed that ancestry, right? They yeah. own your DNA forever. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a clause in them. They say you own it only for the time you're alive. So right? when you die. So you have agreed. To okay. give over everything. But let me tell you what they can do with your Okay. Um, and, and just in case, so people don't think I'm too crazy, there are House resolutions. There are documents that have been passed um, because this is being governed. But, Pastor Paul, you asked me about clones. Yes. Right? Yes. You did. Yes. You asked me about clones. And I'm, I'm sure there's somebody out there that knows about cloning operations where they agitate uh, the drop area in the forearm. And they begin to do things, or they will extract uh, some of the bone tissue from the forehead um, to do it that way. But they, they can essentially recreate uh, the instructions for your whole body are in one drop of blood. So the, the DNA, whole library, every, every, the whole library for you is in your blood. Now, what are they doing with this? Well, if you, if, if a person were nosy enough, yeah. they would have found out through the CIA documents that have been released. I'm loving the fact that they have released these documents because they will find out that they have successfully transferred the memories and parts of the personality of individuals. Into because what? Transferred in, now, into what? In, into another body. Okay. So into another body. They've also done it on a, on one of those, um, uh, like that quantum computer that Google has that processes qubits. Yeah. They have a small cookie. It looks like an Oreo cookie, right? And they smashed all of those plates on this little Oreo cookie. Now it's not, it's near a quantum. It works with qubits, but in a very odd way. Why? Because, well, in other CIA documents, they found something called the living field. They also unlocked all these warlock procedures and witchcraft, fastball. Witchcraft is a science. It's okay, a science. I agree. I just agree. Like I mean, just like a person would take two bricks and put mortar in between and say, now it's strong. And they have found all the ancient ways, right? And they found out what happened to all the portals. Do you not know that all these, uh, you see a lot of old churches on the earth, right? Yes. But the CIA documents is what they found out. People ought to read it. The churches were built to block those portals. To, okay, so is that why to block sir... every portal. To block every portal that goes down to chambers of things they used to do trade with. And they used to trade children. They used to trade everything with these things down there. They blocked up every single portal. So, But now in this generation, yeah, all those churches are being removed. Every so single so last one. And so as they're being closed and being removed and being bulldozed and they're opening up wells. They're opening up wells. Yes, of they darkness. are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And, and, and we're not talking about some portal that you can't see. That's not what we're talking about. No. No, that's not what we're talking about. A, a, you can look, if you were to look in the portal, you'd think you were looking at a, a, a 8K, one of these 8K television sets. Now, that's what you would think. But, but the difference is you can take your camera from side to side, right, and get the view of the entirety of that. You don't know what that place is. The place is not a burning hell either. That's not what the place is. The place, the place is just not, it looks, some of the places look so pristine, but they're on, you never see life in those places. You never see life in those places, which is, don't ask me about that. I don't understand that, but uh, you just don't see any life in those, in those, behind those gates, but they're unlocking them all. We're not right? talking about catacombs now. You're, you're talking about wells of darkness. I mean. 
We're, right. These churches, these churches that were built, put about, uh, I'd say about 100 to 200 feet of concrete stuff through these holes so nothing could, you know, come through. So it'd be shut off. And if you do that for so many years, it's under the memory of people. They have no desire for it. And when you don't, when humans don't have a desire for something, that whatever that something is, is going to die, essential, right? As soon as human beings have a desire for something, they focus on it too much. A desire is calling something forward, right? Okay. That's what a desire is. Because when you want something, what do you end up doing? You end up describing it. And all this, you call it a billion times a day. Well, just imagine if you get a few hundred human beings doing that same thing. You're authorizing this thing to be, to be back in this realm again. When God gave man dominion over the earth, he wasn't kidding. And so Satan can't do anything without our approval. And again, we give our approval by turning our backs on evil. Yeah, you know, I agree with you that man, man was given dominion, not not the animals, and not right. Satan, not Lucifer. None of his uh, minions have any dominion That's over right. the earth. We do, unless That's we right. surrender it, unless we give it to them, unless we allow them to have right. uh, authority right. over us. And isn't that what's going on, Mike? I mean, every time we reject Christ, or every time we renounce Christ, or they turn people reject the gospel, they, and then embrace the lies of the darkness. It's yeah. really transferring the dominion. It is. It really is. Yeah. It really is. A demon can't do anything unless we come into agreement with that demon. Exactly. And they have God stripped them of power, right? Think about this, Pastor. Why doesn't everybody should think that why doesn't a dragon in the Bible come down and do everything himself? Because he cannot. And so essentially he builds a copy of himself in the earth by way of mankind. And then he gives after mankind sets up the kingdoms of earth, just like his realm, he gives it his power seat and great authority. So essentially, he possesses the kingdom, right? Right. He right. has to go through a person to get to people. Yes. Unless a person, unless a person agrees with him, and if they agree with him, then they're not, uh, the Lord said, uh, uh, if you resist the devil, he will flee from you. But if we agree with him, we're yeah. communicating with yeah, yeah. just like Eve did. And and Eve communicated with Satan. Right. And uh uh Saul communicated with, with uh, somebody who Satan the worked with. The witch of Endor. The ending was not good. The ending was not good. But those who resisted, the devil did not engage him. They Amen. Didn't. Amen. They, rebuked, they rebuked him. Them. They didn't engage him. They rebuked and, him. And, but but that's what that's what Satan has a lot of Christians not believing anymore. These ghost shows come out yeah. and people break out a list. Now I can't get into that, but Demons don't wear hearing aids, neither does Satan, right? Okay. So people ought to understand that they because I'll everything. say this one thing. Normally when you're saying, if you rebuke something in the name of Jesus, normally the first time you do it, if it catches you off guard, it's out of fear. But then if you say it again, it's not that they're hard of hearing, it's how we say it. The first time we say it is a reaction. Second time we say it, we're starting to think about it. We keep saying that name and all of a sudden we see Christ on the cross. Then we start, instead of rebuking the demon, we start praising Christ more, accepting everything about the cross, remembering his gospel. And then by that time, we become one with the Lord. Amen. Because the Lord said he, that if we would keep his commandments, that he would dwell within us. Amen. And the Father and him would make their boat in us. When that happens, you're walking kingdom authority. Amen. And Satan cannot penetrate that, right? So it's very important to Satan to get everybody out there to walk disobedient to Christ. So part of what we're going to do this weekend with the webinar is supernatural intelligence is there's intelligence that's supernaturally dark and yes, there's sir. intelligence that's spiritually of light from God to the Holy yes, Spirit, sir. to the agreement of uh, you and I, you know, a one in Christ. And, you know, he is the husbandman, and, you know, Jesus said, I am the vine, and you're the branches. In other words, you, you get grafted Amen. into his kingdom. And so what you're, you're saying sure. is everybody needs to understand everybody is being influenced by something, good or bad or both. you got to figure out That's which right. you got to have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying. And, Mike, so do you think, uh, are we going to, is it important that people know the difference? Can people, how do people, in your opinion, how do people help our folks understand 
how to know they're hearing the voice of God instead of the, the voice of some supernatural. Uh, it could be implemented by oh, man. Hey. How do they know the difference? First of all, like, like if I, sometimes you hear about women, right? They'll say, oh, I got married in a dream. Don't do that because you don't know what that is. Okay. That's, that's, that could be a demon you're getting married. God will always announce himself. Okay. Christ will announce himself, right? And plus his truth is built into us. See, Pastor, when you're preaching, and because that truth is built into us, once you, once you say something that we know is a biblical founded fact, we'll say what? Amen. Amen. Why? Yes. Because we already knew that truth. Yes. We already knew that. So when you speak it, we know what we're hearing. Amen. We know the truth. But Satan, when he speaks, he has to come with a lot of evidence. Okay. You know why? He's a because confusing. his stuff, he has to convince us by way of evidence. Yeah. The, we, that didn't work with the Lord. It's no. by way of internal confirmation. Yes. Right? But we're so, seeing this evidence. So, so you're so, saying yeah. what Jesus said, uh, 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 the, the Lord, we will know his voice and a stranger we will not hear. Amen. And, and we know his That's voice it. because he speaks truth. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So That's he it. speaks his word. That's he it. speaks truth. And That's we right. immediately, as believers, it just, it just, when we hear the truth, we immediately embrace it. Just, yes, okay, amen. That's right. I got it. You're right. That's I'm, right. But when you hear something and it doesn't sound quite right, it sounded kind of biblical, but, uh, and then, and then, then it's a philosophy. It's a, it's a lie That's being right. spun. That's right. Uh, and that's, that's, that's right. how we start, start discerning. And that's what we hope that's right. in this weekend's uh, webinar. We really hope that people will actually learn the difference between the truth and the lie, uh, how to hear, well, they're, they're, how to open their life up, open their hearts. You're going to share your, your two presentations will, will blow people away. You talked to paranormal programs within the government. You talked about some of the subconscious subversion they're doing to people's mind, will, and emotions, and I mean, uh, how important, Mike, is it that people are aware? Pastor, if a person is not aware, they believe the delusion. Right now, right, there is a delusion, and it's called reality. That's delusional. Eternity is reality. Wow. But so, so right. long as I believe all this stuff, and that, that's delu this is I'm, delusional. Okay. All I'm, this changes. I'm writing it down. Reality is a delusion because eternity that's that's truth right there okay that's right yeah that right all now. of what all of what we see is subject to change based on spiritual declaration amen right amen so this what what we see is a delusion Re, uh, uh, eternity is reality amen that's reality that's eternal and that's always that's not changing that's going to be there this is temporal. This stuff changes this is that's temporal right. it changes and, and guess what and guess what? Because it does change, right? Uh, you have a lot of people exploiting a small truth. People understand. They know this, which is why they listen to other folks saying, oh, create your own reality. No, you have to do, right? But what they're doing is trying to dethrone Christ. Right. That's what they're doing. Because all we have to do is follow Christ. You know, he said, come follow me. That's, that's it. That's what he said. Amen. Saying. Amen. And if we follow him, He's doing it all. The kingdom of God is already established. It Amen. need not be established. In fact, it's untouched. It's clean. There's a new Jerusalem. It's coming down right here. It's Amen. not defiled. No. And so, but everything people see, they're, they're believing the politics. They believe that's the way, don't they? Yeah. They believe that whatever man makes is the way. And no. that's delusional. That's being delusional. Yep. That's being, that's believing and somebody else's concept. So you're saying only be, if God is true. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's right. You know, and then and so for for this world is temporal, but God's ways are eternal. That's and right. and so there's where the truth is. That's where we should we should that's why we should walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. Because that's if you right. walk in the flesh, then you will reap corruption, basically. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I it, see what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. It's like the old man, right? The old man of us. Not yep. the new creature today. We don't have yesterday. Yesterday is gone. Nobody can go back and do anything about it, right? Nope. It's gone. Tomorrow does not exist. So that's tomorrow's an unspoken thing Amen. we have today. But a lot of people, they can't do anything today because they live in yesterday, which does not exist. They're sorrowful. And then you have some people who have no idea what's happening today. Why? Because they plan everything for tomorrow. They do this every day. They are living in tomorrow and they do nothing today. These yeah. people are highly stressed. 
And all they have to do is say, wait a minute, God put me in this day, right? So let me just handle this day. The Lord said, take no thought of tomorrow for today right. holds enough trouble for itself. You got enough right? problems. That's so, right. so based on trust, we can do that. And with all the worry a person has, all they have to think is, all this worry I had didn't change anything. Amen. But yet God delivered me because here I am, right? Amen. God delivered all of us. Yes, we had problems. Yes, we did stupid things, but you're still here. And the reason why that's important, Pastor Paul, is because the reality of people, if they really do believe that this is their reality and this is their paradise, they're trying to maximize everything in, what's coming they will not escape from. They will not escape. If they yeah. don't love the truth, if they don't love the truth, They'll be so they're disappointed. Gone. They're, they're gonna, gonna be, yeah, they're gonna be so devastated when they realize that their defense mechanisms and their dreams and their what how they planned on getting through is gonna collapse. It's gonna yep. fall like a house of yep. cards. And and so you gotta put your faith not in uh, you know in, in this world, but in the world to come in Christ and and his rede his redemption through his blood and and. Um, yeah, we're in this time. So people, you need to know the supernatural intelligence. What it means is you need to know the truth for the truth is what will set you free. Plus it's a wake up call. Yep. It's a, it's an alarm clock. Amen. If the Lord knows, the Lord knows if we don't have an alarm clock, we oversleep. So then the troubles that are coming and the knowledge about what you're dealing with right now is an alarm clock. Once a person wakes up and they say, wait a minute, is that what's happening? I'm telling you right now, they can say, Lord, let that not be so in my household. They'll see change in their homes almost instantaneous. We're not talking about the, the, the fluzy stuff. You know how people, sometimes they talk up these, well, if you, if you do this, this will change. I'll, I'll tell everybody right now, I have to use what works. Don't give me the phony baloney stuff. Give me the real deal so, I can, so I can trust the Lord, right? Amen. And I trust the Lord because I'm telling him, he will, your people have their life as way it is as a consequence of the faith they do not exercise. Amen. They've got to walk in that faith, which is simply just living your life by faith. Start praying, right? Stop talking negative all the time. Don't right. get on the phone and hang it up and grumble, agreeing with demons. And then they're mad. <laughs> this is, I don't understand why this same situation happens to me all the time because right. you keep complaining about it. Yep. And, and every time we complain, we're letting Satan know, hey, that's working against me. Yeah, he just so he stop just, doing it. He just throws that's more right. wood on the fire. That's right. Mike, See how delusional that is? That we is, don't know that. My goodness. Yeah, all right, Mike, tomorrow night, we're going to be in right here in San Diego. We're going to be doing this live uh, evening of worship, and, and uh, Heidi's then going to do a presentation. Then I'm going to be speaking, and then we're going to bring you in and part of a panel. And uh, is there something you're going to uh, you're going to drop anything new on us tomorrow night? Is there something going to happen? Probably. Probably. You know what, Pascal? I, I know I said trouble. On the waters, right? Right. And I know the dam burst, right? But, but, but that trouble is, uh, oh, that's an extenuating trouble. There's going to be trouble on the waters. But I, I'll, I'll tell everybody, try not to become fearful, but seek to understand. So are you going to reveal some seek of these things about this water event tomorrow? As well, we are going to reveal some, uh, lots of things will pop up. As you can see, I'm on kind of a different level. I'm telling you, I'm truly excited that there are these classifying documents. Because okay. the restraints have come off. Okay, right? I see that. So, so yeah, you're, you're ready to reveal some stuff. You got some freedom. There's a lot more freedom. Yeah, they, oh, they, yeah. they took that classified thing off of it, and now here we go. So, folks, you don't want to miss tomorrow night uh, when Mike breaks free. Uh, wow, I can't wait. Mike, appreciate it tonight. Really, I do. It's a, it's an honor to have you on, and, and we've had a great conversation, a great crowd here tonight, and I just appreciate your, your helping us. Press ball is always an honor being here. I know I had both motors started, but, uh, 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 you know. Uh, well, hang on to them. Keep them sometimes. idling. Keep them idling. <laughs> keep, them, keep, them, keep them idling. We'll have you back tomorrow night here on the webinar, and, uh, and it's going to be good. Uh, we go live at 6 o'clock tomorrow uh, here in California, so that's 9 o'clock. So we'll be getting. I'll be ready. To, we won't get to you till about 11. Hey, well, I'll be here. Okay. I'll be, okay. I'll be ready 11 East Coast. 11 East Coast. All right. Yeah, okay. You'll be right. fine. You'll be fine. You're from Mike. You're Mike from around the world. You might be sitting out here two blocks away for all I know. It could be. <laughs> oh, I love you, brother. God bless. Thank you. All right, best ball. God bless. All right. All right.